but it was a comprehensive victory for number 11, Arizona, beating an Oregon State team that returned to action for the first time in 29 days due to COVID issues. Brian Weber, Joan Bonvincini, recapping the game. Joan, we saw it frequently as Arizona ignited the comeback. Defense led to offense in the first half. And they forgot to guard Pueyo there, but they're, Arizona's elite defensive team and they do it together and help. And here, you know, you always got to stop the ball. No one did, and what do you know? Kate Reese can knock it down. Shows another part of her game. But look at just the team defense here and the unselfishness and one of their great transfers, Bendu Yaney. I mean, this will ignite your team. And look at the unselfishness here. Pass, you pass it and get it back, you know, and a lot of fun. Arizona forced 19 costly turnovers by Oregon State. The catch relied on bench scoring from Helena Puello, who had 15 points in the first half alone, matching her career high. Well, she just spots up because she knows her friend, Ari McDonald's going to find her. And you see that help defense again by Puello. And no one picked her up in transition for that easy three. Slow start for Ari McDonald, but the All-American came alive when Arizona needed her the most. Uh, she had a slow start, but a very strong finish. She is so dynamic and unselfish. This is why and separates her from a lot of good players and why she's a great player. She is so much fun to, to watch, and she can do it in so many different ways, both offensively and defensively. McDonald finished with a game high 20. Arizona sweeping the Oregon schools for the first time since 2011. To keep it going next week against Utah and Colorado here in Tucson.